Video tutorial. I am going to explain some atomic trends, some periodic trends across the periodic table. I will first start with the atomic radius, which represents the size of an atom. As you can see here on the periodic table, the atomic radius decreases across a period. So if I am go, if I am comparing lithium to beryllium to boron to carbon, the size gets smaller as I move across the period. So you can see over here, the size of an atom gets smaller. So if you are comparing the size or the atomic radii of, for example, carbon and oxygen, the atomic radius of atom carbon is larger than the atomic radius of uh, atom of oxygen, and so on. Now, down a group, as I move down the group, in a periodic table because there will be more and more energy levels building up in the atom the size of the atom will increase to accommodate these extra electrons uh, these additional energy levels in the atom so if you have a question to compare atoms uh, size atomic size for example um, let's say you got a question which one is bigger which atomic radii is bigger, boron or gallium? Here is boron, here is gallium. So as you move down the periodic table, gallium is bigger. Or for example, if you get a question asking you which one is smaller, let's say neon or nitrogen. Of course, neon is smaller. So just remember this pink drawing as I move across the period the atom gets smaller and as i move down the group the atom gets bigger or when you see your periodic table just simply draw one arrow like that going up and like this to show the uh, the the trend okay so this is decreasing and decreasing now, moving on, the ionization energy. The ionization energy and electronegativity, both of them are opposite to the atomic radius. As we go across the period, the atomic size decreases and the attraction toward the, of the nucleus toward the electron gets bigger. So it becomes very difficult to remove an electron, for example, uh, if I want to remove an electron from atom in group 13 and I'm comparing it to an electron that I want to remove from group 17, the, the electron over here is much harder. It requires more energy because this electron is closer to the nucleus and the nucleus is more and more attached to this electron. Also, the atom affinity uh, the atom ability to attract the electron becomes stronger. So I want you to keep in mind that in the periodic table, atomic radii is in the trend, is opposite to the trend of ion ionization energy and electronegativity. So I'm just going to show you here in this periodic table Whenever you get a periodic table, make sure that you always draw on the periodic table two similar direction arrows of electronegativity and ionization energy. And for the atomic size, which is also known as atomic radii in the opposite direction. Atomic radii in the opposite direction. So, and also down a group the the radius increases down a group over here but uh, while on the other hand the electronegativity and the ionization energy increases uh, from uh, down to up so let's give an example let's say they are asking you to uh, arrange arrange Let's say in uh, increasing order, increasing order, 
Let's first take the uh, atomic radii of atomic radii. Then I'm gonna. Then I am going to do the same question of, but in ionization energy and electronegativity, and I'm gonna give two examples. So example one, I am going to give you, let's say, lithium. Um, um, let's say carbon, neon, oxygen, and boron. That's the first example. And the second example, let's say we have germanium we have lead carbon selenium and silicon so let's first focus on the location of these elements in the periodic table so lithium carbon neon oxygen and boron so if I am arranging them in the order of increasing order of their atomic radii, neon lies the last one that's the smallest in the list, and lithium that's the largest in the list. So the arrangement will be so increasing atomic. Radii would be neon, smaller than oxygen, smaller than carbon, <coughs> smaller than boron. You just go with the trend, smaller than lithium. But if the question is asking you to arrange these atoms in increasing order of ionization energy or electronegativity electronegativity you just do the opposite so the smallest ionization energy and the smallest electronegativity goes for li and then boron, and then carbon, and then oxygen, and then neon. Okay, let's take the other example. If I am locating, uh, I want to arrange increasing order the following list. Germanium, lead, carbon, selenium, I think I meant to say silicon, and 10 so if i want to arrange these atoms so in order of increasing radii so c is the smallest followed by the silicon followed by germanium by tin and lead so this is the increasing atomic radii but if I am going to arrange them according to increasing uh, electronegativity and ionization energy, it's completely the opposite. So, increasing ionization energy and electronegativity would be something like that. Pb, Sn, Ge, Si and carbon so you just do the opposite now moving on successive ionization energies again ionization energy is the energy needed to remove energy required to remove an electron from an atom in the gaseous state from an atom in the gaseous state so we are 
thinking about removing an electron, pulling out an electron from the atom. And this is going to cause, this is going to cost some energy. So, and when you remove an electron the first time, the atom, which was neutral, becomes charged, positively charged. So let's say removing first electron from aluminium costs 578 kilojoule of energy. Removing the second electron is going to cost double the amount or even more than double the amount because after removing the first electron, the atom is not anymore neutral. Like here, the atom was neutral. The first electron involved removing electron from a neutral atom. But the second and third and fourth removal of electrons, you are now removing it from a positively charged ion, which is more and more attracted to its electron due to the positive built-in charge in the ion. So after removing the first electron, the neutral atom becomes positive becomes positive and removing a second electron will cost more and more energy so as you can see the number keeps on increasing the more and more and more electrons we remove the more the atom becomes tight to its electrons and it costs more energy to take more electrons. Now, in the ionization energy, we need to also be aware that there are two exceptions among the periodic table. So if we look at the elements here in the periodic table, let's take the elements of period uh, two and let's arrange them according to their ionization energy. The expectations, we expect that the ionization energy of lithium to be less than the ionization energy of beryllium to be less than the ionization energy of boron. That's the expectations. And less than the ionization energy of carbon less than the ionization energy of nitrogen less than the ionization energy of oxygen less than the ionization energy of fluorine and less than the ionization energy of neon that's the expectations but we have an exception in the periodic table among two groups. Elements of a group two, they have higher ionization energy than group 13. So over here, it's not correct. It is the opposite. The ionization energy of boron is less than the ionization energy of beryllium. So here, there is an exception. It is boron and then beryllium. So we were expecting beryllium to have an ionization energy less than boron, but it's the opposite. So this one is higher. Again, you also repeat the same thing among group 15 and 16. Here's the second uh, exception of the trends of the ionization energy trends in the periodic table. The expectations that elements of group 16 are higher but in reality, the ionization energy of elements of group 15 is higher. And here, the ionization energy, we should put O, then N. And why is that? We're going to write it in a different color. That's oxygen. That's nitrogen. This is the exception. Now, let's look at the electrons we are removing. So let's look at group 2 and group 13.
Here, in beryllium, we have four electrons in beryllium. The last electron is in 2s. So if you want to remove an electron in beryllium, we are removing the electron that was here. And we are breaking a full, a full sublevel. 2s is a completely filled sublevel, which costs extra energy. Whereas in, in boron, boron has five electrons and the desired electron to remove is this one just in the 2p we are not breaking a full sub level like in beryllium so here it will cost less energy so that's why the ionization energy of beryllium is much more than the ionization energy of boron now again the trend repeats itself nitrogen and oxygen nitrogen has seven electrons so the removal of electron from nitrogen is the electron the last electron in 2p and this is breaking the stability of a partially filled orbital while if we look at oxygen, the electron to remove is this one I circled. This is not a half-filled orbital. So removal of electron in oxygen costs less energy than removing the electron in F and breaking the half or the partially filled orbital in N. So again, if I want to arrange the elements of period 3 according to their increasing ionization energy we would put them from lowest to highest sodium and then instead of saying magnesium I'm gonna say aluminium then magnesium then silicon now instead of saying phosphorus is less ionization energy than sulfur it's completely the opposite sulfur than phosphorus and cl and ar so from here till here i am arranging from smaller ionization energy to larger ionization energy now before we end our video i would like to point at in the electronegativity the 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 noble gases they don't have electronegativities. Their electronegativity is zero. So when we are comparing the electronegativities of atom, we do not include the noble gases because they already have a full saturated energy levels and they don't attract, they don't like to attract more electrons. They're already completely filled with electrons. So also keep in mind that the atom with the highest electronegativity of the periodic table is F and the element with the lowest electronegativity in the periodic table is FR.